Marcel said he just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox is in where a bunch of pocket chicks. Force is in where force to be reckoned with. Five as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill, from the show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all had special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a demolition expert. The French fox's specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy. Her background was that she was raised by circus performers, so she grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. And when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know what you're doing. Being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather and old vaudeville taught her. If he would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode they would have told him his joke. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. Nah, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people and you can't tell it to me? I promise I won't laugh. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You're quite the silver-tongued devil, aren't you? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you, because it's been built up too much. What a chip. Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. Oh, you can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. You can use... Oh, yeah, but maybe I do. That's what I should. Oh, shit. Cooties, like, wait, hold on. Yeah. Can I cut like you off? It's your line. No, I said, yeah, but maybe I... Oh, yeah. cooties like a handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. I don't know if it's worth $5, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found someone special, when you could just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share a silence. I don't know if we're there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and pound my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. Marcella said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox, as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force, as in we're a force to be reckoned with. Five, as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill from the show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all had special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was kung fu master. The black girl was demolition expert. The French fox specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was she was raised by circus performers. So she grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in the circus, she was somewhat of an acrobat. She, she could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. When you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know what being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather told her. We would have got picked up. They would have worked in a gimmick where every episode I would have told an old joke. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got a chance to say one, because we only did one show. Tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it, and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people, and you can't tell it to me. I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You're quite the silver-tongued devil, aren't you? I mean, I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. 
Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up way too much. What did you? Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use my stroll. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to react about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found somebody special. When you can just sit around, when you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share a silence. I don't think we're there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and powder my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. <laughs> I'm Mike Noman, and I am 5'5". Five five. Right, Marcelo said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? There's this show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Sports 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force as in we're a force to be reckoned with. Five as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There's a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill from the show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all have special skills. Somerset had a photograph of memory, the Japanese fox was a kung fu master, the black girl was a devilish, demolition expert, and the French fox's specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Nine. The character I played, Baby McCoy, her background was that she was raised by circus performers, so she grew up doing a night nice act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife, but because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions, she was a trapeze artist, and when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather and old Bob Mellon taught her. If you would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode I would have told an old joke. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did 15 jokes. Tell me. Nah, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it. I'll be a bear. You told it in front of 50 million people, and you can't tell me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You're quite the silver tongued devil, aren't you? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's built up way too much. What a jip. Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I want to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use a straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. I don't know if it's worth $5, but it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences? Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found somebody special, when you could just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share a silence. Don't think we're there yet, but don't worry, we just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go to the bathroom and pat my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. Alright. Um, my name is Sarah Rogers, and I am five foot seven. Marcelo said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female a secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force as in we're a force to be reckoned with. Five as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill, from that show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all had special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a um, demolition expert. The French fox's specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I play, Raven McCoy, her background was she was raised by circus performers. So she grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. 
But because she was growing up in a circus, she also did something like of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. So when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes. Her grandfather, an old vaudevillian, taught her. If we would have got picked up, they would have worked a gimmick where, I, like, every episode I told a joke. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it, and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people, and you can't tell it to me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You're quite the silver tongue devil, aren't you? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. What a jit. <laughs> Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you've found someone special. When you can just sh shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share silence. I don't think we're there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and powder my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. My name's Viraj Nair. and my height's 5'10", I think. Wait, say your name one more time. Viraj Nair. Marcella said he just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard he did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox is in where a bunch of foxy chicks. Force is in where a force to be reckoned with. Five is in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill, from that show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one. Me. We all had special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was a concrete master. The black girl was a demolition, demolition expert. The French fox had specialty with sex. What was your speciality? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy. Her background was that she was raised by circus performers. She grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. And when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather, an old Bob Billy, taught her. If he would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode would have told them. And do you remember any of those jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, tell me. No, you won't like it and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people and you can't tell it to me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of. Come on, you know I didn't mean that. Uh, you're quite the silver tongue devil, aren't you? I meant that I won't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's built up too much. What a jip. Yummy. Fuck. <laughs> Can you, like, cut it and do it again? Uh, I'm just throw it off. You're fine. I'll cut it later. Just, I start, yummy is where I'm at. Top of the last page. Second to last page. Uh, yeah, so can I have a sip of that? Yeah. Can I have a sip of that? I don't know what a... I'd like to know what a $5, five dollar shake tastes like. Be my guest. <laughs> Fuck. You can use my straw, I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a nice fucking milkshake. Told ya. <laughs> You're laughing now. Told ya. Wait. I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's where you know you found somebody special. When you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share silence.
Well, I don't know if we're there yet, but don't feel too bad. We just met. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and powder my nails while you sit there and think of something to say. Sure. we Will do. Patrick Dwyer, 5'9". Marcel said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. Well, what was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Sports 5. What? Fox Sports 5. Fox is in where a bunch of foxy chicks. Sports is in where force be reckoned with. Five is when there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Summer Theronio, from that show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory, the Japanese fox was a kung fu master, the black girl was a demolition expert, and the French fox's special key was set. And uh, what was your speciality? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was she was raised by circus performers, so she grew up doing her knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions, she was a trapeze artist, and when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather and old Bob Dylan taught her. If he would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode would have just been told to Bob. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Oh, tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people and you can't tell it to me? Promise, I won't let. That's what I'm afraid of. Not what I meant, you know it. You're quite the silver tongued devil, aren't you? I mean, I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been fizzled up too much. What a chip. Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use my straw, I don't have goodies. Yeah, but maybe I do. Goodies I can handle. All right. Damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do you feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found somebody special. When you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and you comfortably share silence. Well, I don't know about that just yet. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go to the bathroom and pound my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. All right, Sam, 5'8", 170. Okay. Marcella says you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. <laughs> what? Fox Force 5. Fox is in where a bunch of foxy chicks. Force is in where force to be reckoned with. Five is when there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There's a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill from the show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all have special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a demolition expert, and the French's fox, French fox's specialty was set. Oh, what was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy. Her background was she was raised by circus performers, so she grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. And when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather and old Bob Dylan taught her. If we would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode I would have told them old jokes. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. Nah, it's really corny. Come on. Don't be like that. No, you won't like it, and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of, like, 50 million people, and you can't tell it to me? I won't laugh, I promise. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, you know it. You're quite the silver-tongued devil, aren't you? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you, because it's been built up too much. <sighs> what a chip. Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a five dollar shake tastes like. Be my guest. <clears throat> you can use my straw, I don't cooties. <laughs> yeah, maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. Mm, God damn, that's a pretty good fucking milkshake. Told you.
I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Do you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's where you know you found something special. You could just look when you could just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share silence. I don't think we're there yet. Don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll go to the bathroom and powder my nose while you sit there and think of something else. Alright, I'll do that. Hi, my name is Kathy Love, and I'm five foot two. Marcella said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force as in we're a force to be reckoned with. Five as in there's one, two, three, four, and five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill from that show Baton Rouge. She was the leader. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one, me. We all had special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a demolition math expert. And the French fox specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was she was so raised that she was raised by circus performers. So she grew up holding tunes. So she grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world to, with a knife. But because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. When you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when being a trapeze artist is gonna come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather, an old bald billion, taught her. If we would've got picked up, they would've worked in a gimmick where every episode I would've told an old joke. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people and you can't tell it to me, I promise I won't laugh. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant and you know it. You're quite the silver-tongued devil, aren't you? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. What a jit. Mmm, yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found someone special. When you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share silence. I don't think we're there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and powder my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that. Chelsea Clausimo, five foot eight. Marcellus just got. That's where. Yep. <laughs> Marcellus said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force Five. What? Fox Force Five. Fox, as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force, as in we're a force to be reckoned with. And five, as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill. She was the leader, uh, the one from the show Baton Rouge. Um, a Japanese one, a black one, and a French one, and a brunette, me. We all had special skills. Uh, Somerset had a photographic memory. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master, 
and the black girl was a demolition expert. Uh, the French fox, the specialty was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was she was raised by circus performers. So she grew up doing um, a knife act, and according to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But because she grew up in a circus, she also was something of an acrobat. She could do illusions, and she was a trapeze artist. When you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when there's going to be a trapeze artist coming in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes because her grandfather was an old vaude villain, and he taught her. If we would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode I would have told a joke. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got a chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you wouldn't like it, and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people, and you can't tell it to me. I promise I won't laugh. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, and you know it. You're quite the silver-tongued devil, aren't you? I meant I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been <laughs> built up too much. What a jet. Yummy. Can I have a sip of that? I'd like to know what a $5 shake tastes like. Be my guest. You can use my straw, too, because I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. I don't know if it's worth five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found someone really special. When you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share in silence. I don't think we're there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and powder my nose, and you sit here and you think of something to say. I'll do that. Hey, I'm Chris Guerra, and I'm 6'4". Marcella said you just got back from Amsterdam. I sure did. I heard you had a pilot? That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Sports 5. What? Fox Sports 5. Fox is in where a bunch of foxy chicks. Force is in where force to be reckoned with. Five is in there's one, two, three, four, five of them. Mm. There was a blonde one, Summer Side O'Neill. I'm not sure about her if she was in there. A Japanese one, a black one, a French one, and a brunette one. Me. We all have special skills. Somerset had a photographic memory, the Japanese fox was some sort of master, the black girl was a demolition expert, and the French fox's specialty was sex. <laughs> what was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was that she was raised by circus performers, so she grew up doing a knife act. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. But she, but because she grew up in a circus, she was also something of an acrobat. She could do illusions. She was a trapeze artist. And when you're keeping the world safe from evil, you never know when the trapeze artist is going to come in handy. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather and old Bobby taught her. If we would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every episode I would have told an old joke. Hmm. Do you remember any of the jokes? Well, I only got a chance to say one because we only did one show. Tell me. No, it's really corny. Come on, don't be that way. No, you won't like it and I'll be embarrassed. You told it in front of 50 million people and you can't tell it to me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I meant, and you know that. You're quite the silver tongue devil, aren't you? <laughs> Shit, what is that line? Bottom of the page. What's that? Bottom of the page. Uh, oh. I mean, I wouldn't laugh at you. That's not what you said, Vince. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. What a jip. Yummy. Do you mind if I have a sip of that? I feel like I need to know what a $5 milkshake tastes like. <laughs> Be my guest. You can use a straw, I don't have cooties. Maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that is a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told ya. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth $5, but it's pretty fucking good. Don't you hate that? What? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's when you know you found somebody special, when you could just shut the fuck up for a minute and comfortably share silence. I mean, I don't know if we're there yet, 
I mean, don't feel bad. We just met each other. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to the bathroom and pad my nose while you sit here and think of something. 